If I were to travel millions of years from now, will the universe still be the same? This was a widespread belief before, a generally constant universe. Yet surprise, it's false. Edwin Hubble noticed that galaxies moved away from us in a velocity increasing as they are far away. Does that mean we're at the center of the universe? You wish. The galaxies are practically static, but it's the space between them that's expanding. Like this balloon here, which separates these stickers when it got inflated. Why is it expanding though? Well, they say it's due to the momentum of expansion during the Big Bang. But will this continue forever? The shape of the universe can't predict that. By what we see, matter has dominated this observable universe of ours. So what? Take a look at this cloth for example. If you put any matter on it, it will warm. Greater when the matter is more massive. Same space-time. High amounts of mass will overcome the expansion to cause collapse. Well, density to be specific. Whether it's greater or less than the critical density will tell us the shape. This critical density is like an equilibrium point. A density just enough to overcome the expansion while resisting collapse. When it's greater, it's closed, finite, like a sphere. When it's less, it's open, infinite like a saddlebag. At critical density, it's flat and infinite. Now it is found out that the universe's density is equal to the critical density, meaning a flat, infinite universe, and it's expected to expand at a constant pace. But surprise, it's not. It's accelerating. More weirdly so because of the existence of dark matter, matter that do not absorb or emit light, but also exerts a gravitational pull. Then how do we reconcile this? There's something countering gravity, something called dark energy. They're both called dark because they're poorly understood yet, but it is calculated that around 68% of dark energy is present to let the acceleration take place, with the normal matter around 5% and dark matter 27%. But wait, there's more. More dark energy as it follows a constant density all throughout as the universe expands until it overcomes all forces of nature that everything will be ripped apart. <laughs> That's like trillions of years from now. We can only make theories as of now. As Aristotle once said, the more we know, the more we know we don't know. Who knows if all of these data are only valid for our part of the universe? If those beyond the our horizon, in a different setting. Until we have better data, observations, and physics, then let's predict again. That time, more surely.